Hey there friends, welcome back. So as we discussed last week that in the subsequent videos we are gonna be talking about the executable jar file creations using different build tools like Maven and Gradle. So here I am with this demonstration video to show you how to actually build executable jar file using Maven and Gradle. And also this demonstration video is applicable for Spring Boot projects as well. So before I get this started, I would like to suggest you to go uh, get back to the previous video or the last last video where I actually shown how to actually use the command line tool and the uh, manifest.mf configuration in order to build the executable jar file for Java application. So if you if you are already familiar with this and you if you already know how to uh, uh, do this thing, you can absolutely go ahead and watch this video but if you really want to know how actually manifest.mf has to be configured in order to create an executable jar file in java so i would suggest you to uh, go back and watch that video so you will find that video link down in the description so without further ado let's get started so first i'm gonna create a maven project first and then show you how to uh, build your executable jar file using maven first and then in the next section I will uh, demonstrate how to actually do the same thing with the gradle build tool okay so this demonstration video is also applicable for spring boot applications but I'm not going to show you how to actually uh, create an executable jar file using the spring uh, I mean executable jar file for the spring boot application right into this video but but uh, when we actually work with the spring boot uh, application or the spring boot tutorials i will be discussing about that thing or this proce procedure in that section so basically the procedure is exactly the same there is no much difference or distinction whatsoever so enough talking so now let's create one maven project first so it's going to be uh, i need to uh, put some metadata for this maven project so let's uh, give the group id demo.build and give the artifact id let's say demo build and for version i'm gonna s remove this snapshot string and then keep the packaging jar give the name demo build uh, same as the artifact id and then for description let's give a description here creating a jar creating an executable jar using um, maven so let's finish this up so we have this uh, project here so uh, as you can see we have the pom.xml file where we have the project metadata only and apart from that we do not have anything else right now but we need to actually work on this pom.xml file uh, for this demonstration okay so just remember that and another thing if you are using Eclipse and if you are finding that this uh, GRE system library is by default showing uh, a much older version than actually we are expecting then we need to reconfigure our project a little bit okay so to uh, support the updated Java version that we actually want to use so in order to do that we also need to use the pom.xml file so uh, open up your pom.xml file and Another thing that if you uh, do not face these issues in your IDE or whatever IDE you are using, so you can skip this section and uh, move forward to the main section. Okay. So in order to resolve these issues, what I would like to do is I would like to uh, I, I would like you to add one tag that is properties, and inside this properties tag, define two things maven compiler we are actually um, 
explicitly mentioning the compiler version actually we want for this uh, maven project okay so they're going to be source and they're going to be compiler target so let's define 11 11 oh my bad okay so now in order to uh, 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 make this apply these changes we have two options using the shortcut if you are using Eclipse press Alter F5 press OK and another way uh, you can do is that right click on the project node go to properties section and sorry uh, right click on the project node go to the maven section and uh, you will find the update project uh, menu and click on that you will update the project okay so now as you can see the uh, version JDK version of the runtime version has been updated as well here so now we are uh, very good for move forward so uh, as you can see there is no source code here so in this demonstration video I'm not going to uh, write any source code from the scratch instead I'm gonna use the um, course that actually um, I prepared in the in the previous demonstration video so I'm gonna copy uh, those quotes and paste it right here so um, this is basically a very simple uh, uh, program so I don't want to talk to, too much about it just basically what we are doing here is that we have a calculate function actually which takes two parameters and uh, do some calculation and show the outputs on the console that's it so we want to actually um, create an executable jar file for this application so if I now if I now go to the project node and build this project now so what we what I what we get is that and in install it when we uh, run this command ambient install we get a, a target directory created and where we have the uh, jar file if the build is successful so as you can see we have a jar file so if I want to I want to execute this and what, what, what we get is that there is no main manifest attribute and in this demo jar that means that this jar file does not have the dependencies it needs to in order to execute it or uh, get it executed from the terminal so uh, in the previous video as I said that we are actually well, what we did is that we actually uh, updated the manifest dot MF file manually where we actually set some information for um, uh, making our application executable or jar file executable so we are not doing this manually here uh, or touching the manifest at MF file okay instead we are doing this in a different way that I'm gonna sh show you here that get back to your IDE and open the Pomlod XML file here at first we are gonna add one dependency basically that is a maven assembly plugin this is what we are gonna use for this demonstration so we have one dependency here and we also need to add the build tags where we have some configuration to let the uh, may even know that we want this configuration or want this uh, uh, configuration to be executed while this application is executed so basically what we have here is that inside the uh, plugin tags or inside the plugin block we have the artifact ID which uh, we have added as, as a dependency maven assembly plugin and here in the archive and manifest section 
we have to set the entry point for our uh, application which is this one and basically where our our uh, main class or the main function is retained okay and also we have the descriptor refs which defines the jar with dependencies and we have some execution uh, commands as well so this configuration is pretty straightforward and simple i think this time we will be able to generate our um, jar file executable jar file so now now uh, run the this command mvm clean package yes i think it's working it's it's fetching all the dependencies needed for this um, okay so the build is uh, successful here so now if i get to the target directory and try to execute this okay so before actually i run that i i need to show you something that uh besides this demo build uh regular jar file we also have this jar with dependencies jar created here okay so let's execute it from here okay and uh, remember this program takes two parameters okay from the command line so let me give to to 1020 so it seems to be working okay so now this is distributable jar file we can rename this jar file and uh, put it anywhere and execute it from the terminal okay so try that yourself so i think this maven based thing is working pretty fine so now let's move ahead and create one gradle project here so now let's create one gradle project and show the same thing or do the same thing uh, with that gradle, gradle project so let me create one first uh, type in gradle from the project wizards and select next and give a project name i'm gonna give it uh, demo build underscore gradle and i want to keep the default configuration as as it is so i'm gonna just finish this setup so now we have this demo build gradle project here as you can see in the settings of gradle we have the uh lib project what contains all the source code and the build.gradle file in order to build our project so uh, as always this this uh, default project does not have the source code we need so we are gonna use the same source code that we used for the maven project we are gonna copy that two packages and paste it right here so looks like there is no error so what we need to do we need to get back to the uh get to the build.gradle file where we need to add a task so let us define it jar inside this jar let's define manifest so we need to define the manifest here and attributes inside the attributes we're gonna do main class and here we need to define the full qualified class name so it's going to be demo test executable main so looks pretty good to me and now if i get to the project node here 
let's get to leave and open up the terminal from here and let's build the project looks pretty good so now as you can see we have a build directory created here inside this we have all this information found here and inside that we have the lib.jar inside the libs directory so let's try to uh, execute it from the command line so let's type it in java the jar lib.jar and put two uh, parameters as you can see it is uh, working just fine and we can obviously copy that one and put anywhere on our system so let me paste it here and rename it to executable okay so if I open a terminal here and try to execute that jar file uh, 7 7 so it's working fine so this is how actually we can uh, create distributable executable jar file using maven and gradle so there are plenty other build tools out there but basically this is these are the build tools we actually worked on in this demonstration video so thank you so much for watching see you next time peace out bye